going. I'm sitting in my car. Hopefully my heat isn't too, too loud. But I'm on my way to work and we're ready to leave. I need to leave in like no more than five minutes. The book that I'm going to be reading, which I'm a little bit nervous of, and hopefully you guys won't mind if I put my lip gloss on while I talk. Um, but the book that we will be reading in this vlog is An Honest Life by Taryn Fisher. Now, if you know me, we have a history with this author, which I'll get to in a little bit. I actually started this book last night, filmed a clip when I was doing my reading sprints, but for some reason the audio wasn't really working. So I have already like started reading this book. After the reading sprints, I just continued reading. And so far I'm liking it. However, I do have some issues with it. So we have our main character named Rainy. And basically she's got your typical mysterious past that she doesn't want to tell the reader right up front, you know. Um, but she was an artist in New York City and she moved to Washington State to be with her boyfriend. And so you're thinking like, oh, there must be some past in New York. No. Something happened in the state of Nevada, close to Las Vegas, that's done something to her, traumatized her, you know, something she doesn't want to talk about. In present day, she is basically in this, like, friend group, but she's not really friends with the girls, like, she's trying to be friends, but she doesn't really want to be friends. She's more of a, like, secluded type person, which I can totally relate, you know? Well, the girls in this friend group invite her to a girls trip that they're taking to Las Vegas, she doesn't want to go because something happened um, from the synopsis she ends up going and I think the one friend in the friend group that she's closest to goes missing and she starts receiving text messages from that friend's phone saying like we have your friend but they're really out to get her dun 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 cue the music so yeah that's the synopsis now I have read three other books by Taryn Fisher. I've read I Could Be a Better You or Bad Mommy, just depending on which one, um, whichever copy you pick up. It's the same book, just different titles. And I've also read The Wives and The Wrong Family. Out of all three, I think I Could Be a Better You or Bad Mommy is my favorite. The Wives was potentially going to be so good and it was just kind of a letdown. So both of those are three stars but if i had to pick i would say bad mommy is the better one and then the wrong family i've mentioned this several times on my channel but that was a one star read for me a one star and i'm not going to get into that because i just wasn't a fan of it so um the publishing company that i guess an honest lie is under reached out to me and asked if i wanted to have a e-arc of her newest book and i said sure why not? I do have it on my Kindle. This is my Kindle Paperwhite. In case anyone's curious, that's not the cover. That's just an ad. So, so far in the book, we are just getting introduced to Rainy and like what, you know, getting to know her and also getting to know the girls in this friend group. It's very clicky. We are introduced to the one that goes missing. I can tell you that because the name is revealed in, in the synopsis. Um, I think her name is Braith. She's the closest one to Rainy, but so far I'm noticing they have very limited action going on. Like, like she talks to the other girls more than the closest friend that she has. There is another girl named Tara and she is like, I guess the Regina George of the group. Like she's just like the bitchy, like everything's gonna go my way. Then we're also told of what happened in her past when she was a child, like her father died and then her and her mom are kind of like up and moving, but they kind of moved to this like commune in the middle of the desert. And it's like an old friend of her mom's. I don't, I think it's Torn? 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 I think that's the name. I don't know. I'll put the name right here. I don't know how to pronounce it. Again, I don't have the audiobook, but that's how I'm saying it in my head. It, it, it seems like a cult. It seems like a cult. So I'm assuming, based on the synopsis and what I know so far, that he's the one that ends up kidnapping the friend. I don't know. I ended last night with them landing in Vegas. So that's the only part I know. Um, the issues that I'm having so far is the boyfriend seems really nice, but he also seems kind of, I don't know, like, I, I don't get good vibes from him, but he, I feel like he's too perfect, if that makes sense. Also, with this being a E arc, 
I can tell it's not formatted and it's not a final copy because there's so many bugs or issues with the art. Also, some of the sentences aren't really making sense. I don't know if that's a me thing, but I could tell this is not a final product. So anyways, I've got to get to work. Um, I have a award show to go to for work, um, which is kind of interesting. We're going to this like very luxurious like hotel that's local to the area. So I'm excited for that, but like also like <laughs> I would rather be home raining, but I'm gonna, you know, put on a good face. I have to like entertain myself for an hour and a half. So yeah. maybe I might get some yeah. Also, I have but a package sense, coming that I'm super excited. Really so great. if you are a Kindle reader, <laughs> make sure you stay tuned to at least that part of the video because I have something that's coming in the mail that's probably going to change your life. Not much of an update. Uh, yesterday was just kind of crazy. We had a lot of like things happen at work that were just a little bit crazy, like nothing bad. Like we had one person go home. We were a little bit busy. We were told some other news, but it's all good, it's all good. But because of that, I didn't really get to enjoy a lunch just because by the time I got to clock out and just like, you know, enjoy myself, I literally just wanted like peace and quiet. So I like ate my food and then by the time I was done, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna treat myself and just scroll on TikTok for the next like 15 minutes. Um, then after work, like I said, I had to go to an award show for work, which was very interesting. It was very, very nice. And I actually got two awards and I was not prepared for that. Um, I got like a certificate for, for like a milestone, which was really nice. And then they gave me this. I'm not gonna show you the front just because it does have my company like, you know, just for safety reasons, you know, I just don't want any creepers like looking me up, but I caught an award, which is really nice. It was super nice, they fed us, we had a lot of fun, lots of photos, mingling. I got to meet a bunch of people in my company that I've never met before. A lot of them were newer, but that's okay. Then I got home and put some comfy clothes on, which was my favorite part of the day. And I got to read. I, I got to use my new Kindle thing, which I will show you guys probably later on tonight when I read. I am liking it so far. It's just sometimes, I don't know if it's because I don't have the audiobook or the physical book, but I do feel myself getting a little distracted, but specifically in certain parts of the book. So part of the book is in the past, and that's where it seems like you're getting like more cult vibes of like when our main character like entered this community slash sounds like a cult like a very religious cult and I, you, you know it sounds like that would be something I'm like super interested in but I'm not and I think it's because it's just still like very new don't really know like I we probably know as many details as our main character so yes yeah, it just seems like you know it's not that interesting because I don't know the details so I need to know the details <laughs> but I did end on a part in the past where things are starting to get questionable I think I'm enjoying more the present timeline just because I want to know like the whole like friend dynamic I feel like everyone in the friend groups got like a like secret of some sort so that's what I'm really here for but we'll see um because I don't have any plans tonight, I do plan on getting a lot of reading done. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that.
while since I've updated you and there's a reason for that. I'm about halfway through An Honest Lie and I'll be honest, it is slow. This book is definitely a lot slower than I would like it. Um, I feel like there's some parts in the chapter that I'm just like, could this go any faster? Like, I'm like, like for example, there was one scene in the past where our main character is in this commune cult community and I feel like the placement of this chapter was very weird because like it's kind of like where our main character is starting to realize like this like something weirds going on in this community okay and then it jumps to like one year later and I'm like odd. Well anyways, you know, if I'm starting to think like, oh, something weird is going on, I should probably look into this. But then to jump like one year later and we're at a baseball scene, like where the community is playing base, I don't know. I I'll be honest, I very much skim read that whole section because I just was like, I don't care about this baseball game and how this person makes you feel like it just was not it just didn't seem needed like I don't know it was just it was just a bizarre chapter then as we're diving more into it you know we're over halfway through the book and yet the plot on the back of the book still hasn't happened and I'm like like, what is, like, like, was the synopsis a spoiler? Like, I feel like that's a great synopsis, but I feel like because of everything that's happening in the past, it's making the main plot not happen. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's, it's just very bizarre. I don't know how I feel about this book. Like, as of right now, I'm just like, eh. Like, it's not, I don't know. It's hard to say that if I would recommend it or not because like obviously like I haven't really got to the to the true meat of the story. I am generally curious to continue reading because I am I don't want to say invested but like I am like so far into the book and it's not to where I want to like DNF it or that it's bad. It's just like I'm just not really jiving with it you know what I mean like I, I don't even know how else to explain it anyways moving on um I am heading into town because my baby sister um is getting married in June and we are having her bridal shower today so I have to drive and pick up a few things for the shower hopefully I won't have trouble finding that and then I have to drive to a city that's a little bit further away where the venue is for her shower I have to get her a gift oh my god I forgot all about that I need to pick up a veggie tray a fruit tray some stuff for mimosas which yeah. <laughs> I wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done on my drink at this page Okay guys, 
So I was editing this video and I realized I finished the book, never updated you on my final thoughts, so that is what I'm here to do. Also, I know my lights are flickering in the background, I could go turn them off, but yeah. Anyways, they're not flickering in real life, but for some reason the camera's catching up on that. So, anyways, An Honest Lie by Taryn Fisher. To put it in a nutshell, I'm going to finish off giving this book a 3.5 stars. So what does that mean? It means it's okay for me. I will say I do think I like it more than Taryn Fisher's other books that I've read, which was Bad Mommy, or I Could Be Another You, and The Wives, and most certainly The Wrong Family. So what I really liked about this book was I, I was pleasantly surprised because reading the synopsis on the back of the book, you would not guess this is a cult book. But guess what? It's a cult book. So I wasn't mentally prepared or ready to go into that book. And honestly, I feel like the synopsis should say that it's kind of like hinting towards that. The first half of the book has nothing to do with the majority of what's going on on the synopsis or the back of the book. So you're following Rainy as like a teenager, her mother is basically making her go to this like community, which is really like a cult. Um, there's this cult leader that she kind of like, I don't know, her like dynamic with the cult leader was just like very odd to me because it was kind of like a hot and cold situation. And because of that, I was really looking more forward to the chapters where it was present day as Rainy is an adult embarking on this like girls trip to Vegas I felt like that's what I signed up for and that's what I was most excited for but it was a pleasant surprise that it had cult elements to it. I feel like I've read a lot of cult books recently like I read like I recently read This Might Hurt by Stephanie Warble and then I have my book club pick which I have to pick up right now um basically is another cult book so I'm reading like cult books a lot recently not that that's wrong to read a lot of cult books but like you know I like to space it out try to keep things a little different so I just wasn't mentally prepared for that what I did like about it is once we got to like the meat of the story I feel like it was really good I feel like it was done very very well I liked the ending which says a lot it's just my overall issues with this one is you know, the synopsis is very misleading. It's very slow going. And I feel like I was kind of misled with the synopsis. But do I think you should read this? I'm going to say yes. Um, I'm going to say if you like Taryn Fisher's writing, I think you should definitely read this. Although it's not my favorite. It is my favorite that I've read by her. Also, if you're new to cults in books, I feel like this would be a good introduction to that trope in thrillers. All right, guys, that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of like in my life, going to see my sister in like her bridal shower. She looked so freaking beautiful. It's hard to believe that she's getting married in June and it's just crazy. I also want to say thank you to Graydon House and Taryn Fisher for allowing me to have this advanced reading copy through NetGalley and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!